Hi, I'm Josh Dalton. Welcome to beautiful Provo, Utah, where I've been tracking our latest story. There's some sort of sports phenomenon going on. I hear it's called Yakit Ball, going on at Brigham Young University here in Budge Hall, uh, a freshman hall. Come, let us go. Now apparently, these residents have a lot of free time because this place is it's just a vacuum of fun. There's nothing to do here. So, they've invented this new game in which they get rackets, armor themselves up, and then they go downstairs to the basement. Come. Now, this is, these are the stairs leading down to the basement where usually there's just a TV room and some laundry room and a laundry room. But they have modified it so that they have a field now. There's two sides, and let me show you here. To the left is side one known as the death trap. There's hardly any protection around here. All right, so this side, this is side two. Now, I have difficulty finding a spot to uh, do my camera work because, I mean, it's very hazardous. I could get hit by a ball at any point. So there's, uh, I have three spots right there, right behind that wall, right behind this wall, and on this side, behind this wall. It worked out quite well. Now, I enjoyed uh, watching Yakit Ball so much and filming it that I abandoned my career as a reporter and decided to be a cameraman full-time for Yakit Ball. We hope you enjoy the documentary. In going about uh, completing this documentary on uh, Yakit Ball, I decided to choose various topics uh, that we should talk about. Uh, I'm going to talk to players about their introduction to Yakit Ball, uh, I'm going to ask them about their own games, how they feel about other players and their games. Uh, also, other things I noticed while filming were there's a lot of cussing, uh, taunting, and I'm, I'm going to look into that, and also the game hit aspect. My first interview of this documentary will be with the founder of Yakit Ball, Jimmy Friedel. Come, let us go. Jimmy. Hello, how are you? how's it going? Good to see you. Have it's a great seeing you. I, uh, it was like the first week of school when we, uh, were kind of just deciding what to do around our hall. And we didn't really know each other. Then all of a sudden, we each got like our tennis rackets. And our, and we had a racquetball, and then we just <laughs> started hitting each other with it. Which was a great game. And then we decided to move downstairs. Introduction to Yakky Ball. I was one of the founders of Yakky Ball. The first game we played, I was there. Um, but uh, due to some circumstances, the powers that be wouldn't allow us to uh, continue our gaming. But uh, we found our ways around that, moved downstairs, and uh, here we are today. My introduction to Yakky Ball. Well, I was actually introduced to Yakky Ball not more than uh, two nights ago because. People in the hall have played it before, you know, I thought it was a little idiotic, kind of barbaric, but and then I realized, you know, I don't have all those characteristics, I'm kind of an idiot. I, uh, I'm pretty much a psycho, so I decided to get on my, uh, my cleats and my shin guards and got my racket, and pretty much once I got a ball in hand and was spiking other people, I fed right in. Let's introduce the Yakut Ball in the last semester. Um, fun game, you know, but, you know, to some of us it's a little more than a game. So of us, it's a way of life. You know, um, I, I take it pretty seriously, man. You can't fool around with that stuff. You know, it's, it's, it's kill or be killed. Yak or be yacked. I have yet to be yacked in the nuts. You know, I'm doing pretty good. I haven't lost any testicles. So, uh, you know, my boys are still around. But, uh, you know, I, I've laid some good shots in there. And, you know, I think, you know, I think, uh, I think Zayner and, uh, you know, Paul, you know, the old school crew, and Jeff, you know, for introducing me to Yak and Paul. I, was, I don't know, I've, I've been a racquetball player for some time now. I play some of the guys on the hall here, and I own everyone, especially Doug. Doug sucks at racquetball. So it's just kind of natural to want to play racquetball in the hallway when people start playing. Welcome all y'all to the Players Club. I'm crazy with this razor. With this razor I'm crazy. With this razor I'm crazy. Uh, strengths in my own game. You know, I can't really find any weaknesses, you know what I mean? I mean, I can crush the ball. Um, got a nice racket, you know. His name's Deep Throat. He pretends, uh, his racket, also known as Deep Throat, is his, uh, 
<clears throat> Detachable penis. I can see, I can see it coming. Oh, you got it! Yeah! yeah. Uh, Did you get that one? That one. I just go, I go crazy when I'm out there. Just crazy, you know. Adrenaline starts pumping, you know, you even get a little testosterone going because you want to just kill the other people. And, uh, you know, I go crazy. You know, the, la the last game that we played, you know, running around with my shirt off, you know, screaming, yelling, you know, riding my bull. You know, I just go crazy out there. I think that's my strength. I go crazy. Josh is crazy. He's, he's definitely crazy and intense. And... Josh, uh, what can I say? He's intense. I mean, Josh? Josh is intense. He's like the last of the Mohegans. I mean, the guy's freaking crazy. I don't know what to do, but you know, as long as he's on my team, it's okay. He goes out there acting all hard, hardcore, and uh, then he has his cup. I don't know. He's he's got a little bit of a pussy side to him because he wears a cup. But... Cup on? Spot on? Yeah. Cup on. <laughs> it's yakking ball. You get yacked. Getting yacked. The definition of yak is to get hit in the nuts. That's the point of the game. And but, you know, we won't hold that against him because it's no fun to get yacked in the nuts. So. He does have some weird tendencies, though. Hey, I'm waiting. He's got some weird uh, in-game rituals he likes to do. He. Uh, that's not a good place. Now, after a while, you know, a couple wins. The guy kind of used to it and joined in. Oh yeah, they're just getting themselves ready. I'll give him some credit, he's a contender. He can put some heat on the ball and uh, dish, out, dish out some uh, some taunts and lyrics that are pretty derogatory. He's, I don't know, he's a good competitor. He's fun to play against. He is a fighter. I must give him that. He is crazy. <laughs> My own game, I just, I don't know, I go all out. The rules, the rules don't really apply. I'm, I'm not a big fan of like strategy and rules and whatnot. I mean, especially like all this game, baseball gloves and goggles and cups. I mean, what's the deal with that? Not, it's yakky ball. You, you don't need any of that junk. Um, I just, I just go out there and play. Sam's a funny guy. Sam's tall and lanky, big target, you know, fun to try and go after. Uh, I don't know, Sam's kind of a lanky little bastard, you know, like, he's kind of hard to hit from, like, side to side, but... What, me? You want this? Both of you. I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> as long as, like, as long as you're in that way, like, tall-wise, you're set, you know, you just go for the neck, the knees, the ankles. It's a pretty easy target, I don't know what to say. He's kind of new to the scene, too. Uh, Jim, you're not taking care of You know, he's not real, uh... He's not real aggressive yet. He uh, doesn't know quite know the rules. Pays no attention to rules. You can't do that. There's no strategy in the yak ball. It's yak. What is yak? How you feeling, Sam? How you feeling? I'm having a little power, a little deep. Oh crap! Uh, what are you like? You, you breached the line. You know, went after Doug with his racket. And, oh, oh, you're backing <laughs> off. <laughs> oh. And uh, you know, chases the ball when it's not supposed to. You know, allowed to. You know, not allowed to. And. Hit. <laughs> up. Sam's a cool guy though, he's fun to play with. Sam is a very good player. Sam is amazing. He is, uh, he goes all out. He can hit the ball. The aim of a tiger. <laughs> he's cool under pr pressure. I like to call him Cool Sam.